Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, Bacterial Spore. Bacterial spores, also known as endospores. It is a specialized and highly resistant structure that allows bacteria to endure harsh environmental conditions such as extreme heat, dryness, radiation and exposure to toxic chemicals. The vegetative cell itself is not strong enough to face challenging environmental situations. Therefore, it forms spores as a protective strategy. When conditions become favorable, bacteria come out of that spore and re-establish their vegetative state. Structure of spore The first part is core. The core is the innermost part of the endospore and contains the bacterial DNA and low content of water. Therefore, it is highly condensed. It is metabolically inactive, which means biological activities either slowed down or stopped. The core also contains high amount of dipicolinic acid complex with calcium ions. This complex binds free water molecules which prevents pores from drying and extreme temperature. Core also has small acid soluble proteins that protect the DNA from damage. Inner Membrane Core is surrounded by an inner membrane which separates the core from the rest of the endospore structure. This membrane is selectively permeable which means it only allows essential molecules to enter while blocking others or we can say it helps to regulate the movement of molecules in and out of the core. Cortex the cortex is a layer of peptide glycan, a rigid cell wall material located between the inner membrane and the outer layer of the endospore. It occupies as much as half the spore volume. It provides structural support to the endospore and contributes to its resistance to physical damage. Outer membrane. A phospholipid bilayer surround the cortex called the outer membrane. Spore coat. Outer membrane is surrounded by the spore coat. It is a thick layer composed of more than 50 different proteins, which are highly cross-linked to each other. Spore coat provides additional protection to the endospore. It consists of multiple layers and is highly resistant to chemicals and angiogenetic digestion. Exosporium Some endospores have an outermost layer called exosporium, which is not always present in all species. The exosporium is a loosely attached, delicate layer that may have various functions such as adherence to the surfaces. Bacterial Spore Formation The process of bacterial spore formation known as sporulation. The first stage is activation. Sporulation is initiated when the bacterial cell encounters adverse environmental conditions such as nutrient depletion or other stress factors. This activates specific regulatory mechanism within the bacterium. Next step, DNA replication and segregation. Before sporulation can begin, the bacterial cell replicates its DNA and separates both copies to ensure that each spore will contain a complete set of genetic material. Next step, asymmetric cell division. The bacterial cell undergoes asymmetric cell division, resulting in the formation of two unequal compartments within the cell. The smaller compartment known as four spore and the larger compartment called the mother cell. Next step is four spore development. The four spore is the future spore and it is encased by a double membrane. The mother cell provides the four spore with essential components including proteins, enzymes and nutrients to support its development. Next step, four spore engulfment. The mother cell membrane continues to grow and engulfs the four spore, which is an immature spore. Next step is spore coat formation. Within the four spores, layers of specialized proteins are deposited to form the spore coat. The spore coat provides protection to the genetic material and other cellular components. Next step, cortex formation. The mother cell synthesizes a layer of peptide glycan called the cortex around the spore. During this phase, the spore continues to mature and becomes highly resistant to environmental stresses. 
Next step, exosporium formation. Some spores also release exosporium around cortex. Next, mother cell lysis. The mother cell eventually undergoes programmed cell death, which is also known as lysis, releasing the mature spore into the environment. Spore release. The mature bacterial spore is now highly resistant and capable of surviving harsh environmental conditions such as heat, radiation and desiccation. It can remain dormant until conditions become favorable again. Germination. When the environmental conditions improve, a uh, spore can germinate to form new vegetative bacterial cells. Germination involves breaking down the spore coat and reactivating cellular metabolism. It is important to note that not all bacteria are capable of forming spores and sporulation is a specialized process found primarily in certain genera such as Bacillus and Clostridium. Location of spores The mature endospore is located in a characteristic location in the mother cell uh, depending on the species of bacteria. Mother cell here also known as sporangium. Endospores may be centrally located close to one end which is called subterminal endospore or terminal. Sometimes an endospore is so large that it swells the sporangium. And now some key characteristics and features of bacterial spores. First is resistance. Bacterial spores are incredibly resistant to adverse conditions. They can survive extreme temperatures, high level of radiation and exposure to disinfectants and antibiotics that would typically kill vegetative bacterial cells. Next, structure. Spores are typically smaller and more compact than the vegetative cells from which they originate. They have a thick multilayer protective coat that shields the genetic material inside. Next, metabolically dormant. Spores are metabolically dormant, which means they do not carry out normal cellular processes like growth and division. This dormancy allows them to conserve energy and remain resilient in harsh conditions. Next, resistance to dehydration. Spores are highly resistant to desiccation, making them capable of surviving in dry environments for extended period. Next, germination. When environmental conditions become favorable again, spores can germinate and return to their active vegetative state. This process involves breaking down the spore coat and reactivating cellular metabolism. Besides endospore, there is another type of spore which is called exospores. Exospores are not as well studied as endospores and they are produced by a more limited group of bacteria. They are thought to be formed as external structures released by certain filamentous bacteria during reproduction or as a survival mechanism. Exospores have been observed in some filamentous bacteria including certain actinobacteria such as Streptomyces species. Exospores may also have some resistance to environmental stress but they are generally less well suited for survival under extreme conditions compared to endospores. Exospores when produced are typically found on the surface of filamentous bacterial cells. They are often surrounded by a protective layer, the exosporium, which can vary in composition and structure depending on the bacterial species.